Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which we're going to be installing Minecraft Forge for Minecraft 1.17.1. That's right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install mods for Minecraft 1.17.1 using Forge Mod Loader. Now, there's also Fabric Mod Loader. I've already done a tutorial on that. I might do an updated tutorial for that, um, but the 1.17.1 should just work fine. I haven't done one for Forge yet, so that's why I'm making this video. It's going to be fairly simple. I'm going to guide you through it step by step, though, and show you everything that can go wrong and how you can possibly solve that. Apart from showing you how to install Forge, I'm also going to show you how to add mods to Forge because some people actually successfully install Forge and then they're like, what do I do now? What's next? And so I'm also going to show you how to add a mod and you can, you know, repeat that process for any mods you want to add to your game. Before we get started though, if you actually enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more of these types of videos. And uh, last but not least, if you need a good and reliable Minecraft server, be sure to check out my link to Apex Minecraft hosting. They've got some really good servers and, um, if you do get a server with Apex Minecraft hosting, you'll support my channel as well. So that is very much appreciated. Without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So to get started installing Forge for Minecraft 1.17.1, first of all, we're going to need actual Minecraft 1.17.1. So to install 1.17.1, you open up your Minecraft launcher just like that. Make sure it is set to the latest release 1.17.1. Should you be on a newer version in the future and you still want to use 1.17.1, what you want to do is go over to installations, new installation, name it whatever you want. Well, that is a typo, but it doesn't really matter. Under version here, you want to select release 1.17.1, you click create, and now you click play. This will download and install 1.17.1 to your computer. Now all you do is wait for the game to make it to the main menu and you just click quit game. Now the next thing we're going to do is open up our browser. You can also use the link down below in the description to danielplace.net which will contain a full tutorial just written out instead of a video but this video will also be put on there so you have a choice at which you actually want to look and which one you want to follow but that post also contains all the useful links that you're going to need to actually complete this tutorial. So here we are over on danielplace.net. This is the post that I was talking about. So the first thing we're going to do is download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.17.1, obviously, because we cannot use mods without using a mod loader. So in this post, click Forge Mod Loader. This will open up a new tab, which should bring you to 1.17.1 Forge, just like that. Now click installer, just like that. You'll be redirected to an ad page. Don't click anything, just wait five seconds for a skip button to appear right over here. Click skip, and this will start your download. Just close this tab. Don't close this yet because we're gonna need it later on. As you can see, we've just finished downloading Forge and because it is a .jar file, you have to click keep for it to be safe to your PC. Now the next thing is probably the most important and also the most annoying thing about jar files and jar installers. The problem they usually have is that on some PCs, your PC just doesn't know what to do with the jar files. So I'm going to just show you my downloads just like that and it has this Java icon because I've done this before. And now for some people it should automatically show you this icon and then if you click it, it should, after a few seconds, open this Forge installer, but for many people, it does not do that. So the first thing we can try to do to fix this ourselves is click show in folder, go over to your downloads folder, right click the file, open with, and then try to find Java platform SE binary. Now it might be the second or the third one in the list here, which explains why it doesn't automatically open with Java, but just select it in the list and just click it. As you can see, if you already had Java on your PC, it will now actually open. But for some people, this does not work. So what you want to do in that case is actually go over to this post and come down to the section where it says Java and Jarfix. Jarfix is a program that will fix the extension if it didn't work the way I just showed you, but it does require you to have Java installed on your PC. So if you don't have Java installed on your PC, this program, Jarfix.exe, which you can download from this link right here, will not actually work. Once you open it, it will actually say the .jar suffix has been registered successfully if you did have Java, and it will say you need to download Java if you don't have Java on your PC. Don't use the link that will pop up on here because it will not work. Go back to this post right here, and this second one is the one you need to actually 
go to if you do need Java. So you just click this link and there will be a very straightforward installation process. Once you've completed it, you should be able to select Java when opening the Forge installer. So let's go back here, show in folder. And now if I double click this, as you can see, we have the Forge installer. All you need to do is actually click OK right here. Depending on how fast your PC is, this may take anywhere from 10 seconds to maybe like a minute or two successfully installed Client Profile Forge. So that's it. Now I will say for this one, it did take way longer than it usually would. So that might have just been bad luck or this one actually does take longer on 1.17.1. All you got to do now is just click OK close this right here and so the next thing we're going to do is actually download a mod and install it before we launch the game because we can immediately launch it with a mod even when launching forge for the first time so over in this post you can find biomes of plenty but of course you can use any mod you want as long as it's up to date with 1.17 and 1.17.1 so over on this page on curse forge you want to go down to recent files minecraft 1.17 click this download icon wait five seconds and then it will start automatically there we go we've just downloaded biomes of plenty click keep i'm going to drag this over to the desktop right here and now to install it what you want to do is go over to your search bar type in percent app data percent click the file folder find dot minecraft just right click somewhere in here and create a new folder name it mods lowercase that's it just double click it to open this folder and drag in all of the mods you would like to install for 1.17.1. So now you can actually close this. You can open up your Minecraft launcher. Make sure it automatically selects the Forge profile right here. And so once you've selected Forge, click play. You will see this warning the first time you actually play modded Minecraft on a new version. If you do understand the risks, you can just tick this box right here and click play. There we go. We are now in Minecraft 1.17.1 with Forge, as you can clearly tell from the warnings, because it's still Forge beta, so it's not a full release yet. So that's why you're going to see these warnings up here, but it should work pretty much fine. Just I don't think there's many issues with Forge betas usually, but just so you know, it's a, a normal warning. It's something you should see with Forge betas, so don't worry about that. In the bottom left corner, as you can see here, we are now actually given some more information such as the Forge version, MCP version, and the amount of mods we've just loaded, which will always be something like two or three by default, even if you don't have any mods. So to check whether you've installed the mods you wanted, go over to mods and you can see there's Minecraft and Forge, which are the first two. And then the other one we installed is Biomes Plenty. So that's perfect. Now, if you were to create a new single player world, I'm going to create a new world just like that. It's going to be called new world and under more world options. There we go. It says biomes of plenty. So let's just create this new world to actually show you this tutorial works. It might show you this worlds using experimental settings are not supported. That's because this is modded Minecraft. Just click proceed. And there we go. This is clearly biomes of plenty. I don't even know what biome this is. This looks very, very interesting. This looks very dry and sand-ish. I don't even know. This looks cool and all, but what is this? This looks like a very useless biome for survival. Looks like it's only just grass and sand and no trees, no wood, no nothing. It does look kind of pretty though. But um, yeah, this is just proof that this tutorial definitely works. And we are now actually playing Minecraft with the Biomes of Plenty mod. And like I said, you can use any other mods with this tutorial you want. So that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you actually did, you know what to do. You're gonna have to hit that thumbs up to just let me know that this tutorial actually worked. If you did run into problems, just let me know down below in the comments or join our Discord using the link down below in the description to actually talk to people on my Discord that know a lot of stuff about Minecraft. And then without any further ado, I will of course, as always, Catch you in the next one. See ya.